Hey everyone, Mel here, your declutter expert and founder of Decluttering Spaces with your weekly quarantine check-in. I'm getting some hiking in the rain. Yes, we don't really get rain here, it sprinkles, so you can actually come out and hike in it. Just checking in, weekly check-in to see how you're doing, give you an opportunity to reach out to me if you need me. I always leave my contact information. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm the founder of Decluttering Spaces, and what I do is I help my clients get free from clutter, physical, mental, and emotional, so they can make space for the magic to happen and experience happiness and abundance in every area of their lives. I started doing these weekly check-ins when we went on shelter in place just to stay connected to my tribe and reach out and let you know that I'm here. So that's what I've been doing is reaching out to you and checking in and also sharing what it's been like for me to go through this quarantine process in hopes that it can help you. So what I thought I'd do today is actually just share three simple practices that I do on a daily base, basis that really help me stay happy, healthy, and sane during a pandemic. Now these are things I do every day regardless of a pandemic, but they're really helpful during a pandemic. First and foremost is to have a solid morning routine. Mine, I get up, I make the bed as soon as I get out of the bed. And now my bed's a king size, so I only have to make half of it, which is really great. It's so easy. <laughs> Brush my teeth, drink a glass of water, hit my knees and pray, and then practice my allowing the now practice, or ATN for short. I'll tell you more about that in a second. And then I read some sort of scripture, some sort of spiritual scripture that keeps me connected to God. That's my morning routine. <clears throat> allowing the now is just a simple practice that I do and I teach my clients where they, or we, make space for ourselves in each moment and just learn to be present with whatever's coming up. Like, whatever's happening in this pandemic, whether you're feeling afraid, or you're feeling angry, just letting those emotions be there and be present and experiencing them and then letting them pass. So I have a solid morning routine. And then I have a practice that I do, that I work with with my clients called becoming a happiness-seeking missile. And what that really means is if you've ever heard of a heat-seeking missile, it locks onto a heat signature and it doesn't let go until it makes impact. So the same thing with being a happiness-seeking missile, our minds are always defaulted to find the negative. We look for whatever's wrong, whatever's not working, whatever doesn't feel good, whatever doesn't look right. It's just default to look at the negative. But it's just the way we've ingrained ourselves and it can be changed if you change your default to finding what feels good and what you like. So becoming a happiness seeking missile means that you're always looking for things to appreciate and always looking for things that feel good. Like today I'm out here hiking because this is how I declutter my mind and I'm out here in the rain because it's absolutely amazing and refreshing and invigorating. So becoming a happiness seeking missile and then number three is to be very careful what you consume with your mind. I don't watch TV. I don't actually own a TV. I don't watch the news or read the news. I've read a couple articles just to stay relatively informed, but that's it. I am very particular about what I consume with my mind. Nature is what I consume with my mind, heart, and soul. So, solid morning routine. Become a happiness-seeking missile and be careful what you consume with your mind. Now, down below, you can leave comments. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what you do to stay happy, healthy, and sane during a pandemic. And if you haven't already subscribed, click the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I pop up a new video, just hit the bell next to it and you'll get a notification. All right. I love you. I miss giving you all hugs. I hope you're well. I hope you're well. Please reach out and check in and I will see you next week.